Worldwide, there's an ongoing debate over prisons. Should they be a place of rehabilitation or of punishment? And which is the better crime deterrent in the long run? It's probably no surprise that research shows rehabilitation is best for reducing recidivism. And what could be better for reforming an inmate than running a small business? How about a small business that earns an inmate a cool million bucks? In 2016, Hope Olusegun Oroke was part of a Nigerian love scam ring broke up by authorities ranging from Japanese to the US, to Laos and Nigeria. Mr. Oroke was one of the estimated 80 scammers who dedicated themselves to preying on lonely women over the internet. Posing as an American service member stationed in Iraq, Afghanistan, Syria, and other places, the scammers would spark romance with lonely women through international pen pal websites. After a whirlwind online romance, the scammers would quickly move on to ask for cash from their online sugar mama. And a lot of it. Sometimes the money was needed for medical emergencies suffered by fake relatives back in the US. Because if anything's believable, it's that Americans need international help to afford healthcare. Other times, the money was necessary for less than legal endeavors, such as the Japanese woman who was scammed for $200,000 when her online lover claimed he needed help smuggling diamonds out of Syria. The scam was wildly successful, earning the crime ring tens of millions of dollars. But who is lonely enough to fall for such an obvious scam? Wondered thousands of people with OnlyFans membership accounts? Well, women all over the world, from Asia to Europe and even right here in the US. As the money was pouring in, two men based in Los Angeles would be responsible for laundering it through a variety of online bank accounts, all of it untraceable. Well, until it wasn't, and federal authorities raided the home of the two men along with 12 others in the US, working with authorities in Nigeria, and many more would go on to be caught and sent to prison. Hope Olushwege Oroke would be one of those scammers, only his time in prison was less of a punishment and more of a working vacation. While authorities were still investigating how it was possible, Oroke was able to continue perpetuating his online scams to the tune of a cool million bucks, and all this despite the 24-year sentence in a Nigerian maximum security prison. Apparently, maximum security doesn't quite mean the same thing in Nigeria as it does in the rest of the world, because Oroke was able to not only have unrestricted internet access from his cell, he was even allowed to leave prison from time to time. Under the guise of receiving medical treatment, the Roque would be shuttled to hotels where he'd spend time with his family. Even more brazenly, he would even make the time to attend important social events because prison is absolutely not an excuse to neglect your friendships. He was also allowed perks other inmates were not, such as personal electronics to include a cell phone, better food, and were assuming a little privacy in the group showers. At least that's the perk we'd be most interested in ourselves. Oroke was a busy man, and on top of attending social gatherings while visiting family in hotels, he also made the time to go shopping for real estate. With a 24-year prison sentence, it may seem a bit premature to be looking at a house to settle down in, but Oroke was a rather forward-thinking man. Either that or he had an inside track into a Nigerian prison system that made him confident he'd be spending quite a bit of time away from his cell during his 24-year… well, at this point we wouldn't call it really a prison sentence anymore now, can we? How about prison invitation? As in, Oroke was invited to spend a quarter of a century in prison by the Nigerian government for defrauding innocent, lonely people to the tune of millions, but obviously he was free to refuse the invitation as he pleased. A good host never forces an invitation, that's just plain rude. Eventually, Nigerian authorities, as in the non-corrupt kind, got wind that one of their inmates was absolutely excelling at this whole rehabilitation thing. Also, he was spending equal parts in prison and out of it when they were pretty sure the law states you're supposed to serve your entire sentence in prison. The head of Oroke's prison and his prison doctor were both investigated, which we're assuming must have been the shortest investigation in history, and removed from their posts to face criminal charges. Oroke is now under far closer scrutiny, and finding out that when you can't bribe the warden, prison really puts a crimp in your social life. It's still unknown what new charges he'll face for crimes he committed while in prison, but authorities are looking to recover as much of the estimated million plus that he stole while serving time. One thing's for sure, Hope Olushwege Oroke's side business beat the pants off the two cigarettes a sip toilet wine racket run in many US prisons. Thinking about starting your own million dollar prison scam? Check out Prison is Horrible But Not For The Reason You'd Think, or click this other video instead.